I need some cake with this. Hey everybody, my name is Tim, I am the Dizzy Daddy, and happy early holidays to ya. This time of year means we have lots of festive things to eat, we got lots of desserts, a lot of sweet things, and we've got a lot of leftovers too. It's a fact. When the holidays come around, we buy a lot of things that we don't usually buy, and in every household, I'm pretty sure, there's one or two people that like eggnog, and the rest who kinda don't. In my house, it's my oldest daughter and myself. But we don't always get around to finishing all of it, so we got a bunch of this eggnog left, and it seems a shame to throw it away. So. I humbly present to you my sour cream eggnog coffee cake. Okay, my coffee's getting cold. Let's hurry up and make this thing. Let's go! As you can see, we have a lot of ingredients. I'm going to list them in the description below so you can check that out. Um, but I'll just kind of quickly go through it as I'm mixing everything together. So as usual in baking, we're going to go dry ingredients, then mix up the wet ingredients, then together. So let's get our dry ingredients together first. We got one and three quarters cup of flour here, a slight heaping teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and about a three finger pinch or about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Just mix this together, set that to the side, and mix the wet ingredients. So first we're gonna start with half a cup of softened unsalted butter, three quarters of a cup of white sugar. I'm just gonna cream that together. This recipe has slightly less sugar. I know it looks like a lot of sugar, but it has slightly less sugar than your typical uh, cake or, well, today we're making a loaf. So it has a bit less sugar, but that's because one, in my family, my mother always made it kind of a thing where she put slightly less sugar than you would think you need. And also, we're going to have our streusel filling and topping, and my one daughter really likes that stuff, so I always put extra, so that kind of makes up for the lack of sugar throughout the uh, cake itself. Okay, so, cream that together. Then, two eggs. I'm just going to incorporate this. Half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of good old eggnog, oh, I almost forgot, vanilla, half a teaspoon, can't forget that. Now, wet into dry. Now, mix this up just until it's smooth and incorporated, and then we'll move on to getting our streusel topping ready. Okay, so in here I've got half a cup of flour, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, one heaping teaspoon of cinnamon, and I will add three melted tablespoons of butter. And then just get it all together. And again, we're making a loaf today. I like loaves, I don't know. Maybe got into the habit of making loaves because my family only has four people in it. So we don't really make giant cakes in this family too much, but my daughter likes giant amounts of the filling. So this recipe has a little bit more. So again, if you want to add a bit less, that is definitely up to you. Put that to the side. Okay, so you need a greased loaf pan. And I've just sprayed it with a bit of Pam cooking spray, but you can use butter, a bit of oil, whatever you like. And then we're going to take our batter and carefully put about half of it in. And then just kind of ease it into the corners. Wonderful. And then we take the streusel topping and or filling and going to sprinkle about a little more than half, about 60-65% in here. We will put the rest of our batter in, little sections here, dollop in the 
center and on each side and then let's get it all into the corners here just kind of gently coax it in there I think we've done a fairly good job of putting the second layer on on with the rest of our streusel topping here and this will just kind of crust up nice and crunchy into our preheated 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes but of course check it check it 10 minutes before 40 minutes and then kind of keep checking it because all ovens vary so toothpick or skewer technique you know when it comes out clean it's ready and I don't know why maybe it's because this is an old loaf pan this is like my mom's loaf pan from the 70s basically this thing is probably older than I am um, but somehow it's stuck around but if you're concerned with uh, it getting too brown on the bottom and the sides uh, sometimes what I do is about three quarters of the way in I'll just put it into a, a container an aluminum thing like this and then it just kind of adds that extra little bit of protection from the bottom for just a little while anyways until this thing heats up as well so yeah, if you just want to curb the heat a little bit, you can do that about three quarters of the way in. So anyways, this is going in right now, and we will see you when we're done. Okay, you know what time it is. Ah, very nice. I did end up putting it in my aluminum pan. Total cooking time was about mm, 42, 43 minutes. So a little bit longer. Okay, and put it on our rack here. Just keep it elevated to let the air circulate. We'll wait until that's cool, and then we'll pop it out of there and try a slice. Let's see what we got. Oh, perfect! Look at that. Oh, nice! Okay, let's slice it and eat it. Okay, there we go. Oh man, that looks good. It's so fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's light. That little hint of the eggnog in there, you can taste it. It's very nice. Hmm. I prepared this for the uh, photo shoot for Instagram, but uh, I wouldn't normally drink this with that because uh, it's double sweet. I don't really like sweet stuff to begin with. <laughs> I make the uh, odd exception for like things like this, but uh, yeah, that's a little bit overkill, but it looks pretty, so let's drink it. Here it. Oh! You know what? That's actually not bad with the uh, peppermint rim on it. Eh, but it's coffee cake! <sighs> and you do need coffee. And there you have it! Sour cream eggnog coffee cake. Just in time for the holiday season. This is just a good thing to have around Christmas morning, Christmas Eve, any time around the holidays. You want some sweets, you want some nice things to go with coffee, tea, all that stuff. And of course, you can enjoy this cake year round. It's just that eggnog only comes around once a year, at least in my neck of the woods. So it's a good thing to take advantage of. If, of course, you're making it at other times during the year, just double the amount of sour cream or maybe add some milk or basically you just want to equal out the amount of liquid stuff in there. But if you can get hold of eggnog, it just adds a really nice zip to it. So that's pretty easy to make. I know it seems like there's a lot of ingredients, but once you all mix them all together, you goop them into a pan, throw them in the oven, that's pretty much it. So I hope you can give that a try. Thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't seen my fitness journey yet, you can view it somewhere around here. I have other videos as well. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell, all that stuff. And I will see you next time with something else. Take care.